Thank you. Um, we would like to thank the Recording Academy on behalf of our dad. Um, we know he was very excited to be receiving this award, and um, we really miss him. And, you know, he just lived and breathed music. He was always tapping out rhythms at the breakfast table and, you know, making me do five over seven. <laughs> I'm still trying to get it. But um, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. And um, we, we are very happy to accept the award for him. Um, it was uh, 60 days ago today, I just counted, um, that he passed away. So it's kind of difficult to be standing up here. Um, like Nora said, I'm thrilled that he knew about this award before he passed, at least. Um, but I wish we weren't standing up here for him. Um, I want to quickly say a thanks to my mom, um, because if he was here, he would be doing that. Um, because he uh, was alive till 91, and he did his last performance just a few weeks before he died. And I really think that she's the reason that he was able to be as healthy and as strong as he was. So I'm eternally grateful to you for that. Um, I had a, a quick thought earlier when, when um, it was being discussed whether music is, is for fun or whether it's to help us get laid. Um, <laughs> and um, my, my father always said that music could create world peace because it had the potential to raise the consciousness of people who tuned into their souls and their beings through listening to music, through playing music. And if anyone saw my father play, he, he could certainly have fun. And um, as too many women felt like they needed to tell me, um, he could certainly get laid. Yes. Um, <laughs> did I just say that? You um, said it. I said it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but when I watched him play, what moved me the most was that he, he could take people to this, this incredible meditative state, you know, where they would just close their eyes and cry and just get in touch with something more important, and then that's something that's inspired me most about him. Um, I'll finish quickly on one story about the kind of musician he was, which is um, when I was a child, my mom realized we couldn't find his Grammy anywhere, and he'd <laughs> lost it. Um, and I guess he'd left it in a suitcase at a friend's house years ago and didn't know what had happened to it. So we made loads of fun of him for losing a Grammy. And um, when she called up the Academy to see if they could get a copy made, um, they said, certainly we can make a copy. Which Grammy is it that you want to get copied? And she said, what do you mean, which Grammy? And it turns out he'd won two, and he just didn't know it. Um, that was the kind of musician he was. He didn't know he had two Grammys. He went on to win a third, and, and today he gets this incredible honor. But at the end of the day, it was the music itself that really mattered to him, and, and it was the be-all and end-all of his life, and I'm really grateful to the Academy for recognizing that. So thank you. Thank you.